are level C5 evaluating. Okay. Uh, so the rest you can read on your own because I want to move to one note. Okay. Uh, if you have installed, if if you have installed uh, the one note that I have mentioned yesterday, you can find uh, right now this uh, this note have been uh, okay appear in your uh, device. Okay. So I have uh, also put here the 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 textbook, uh, the Hebrew textbook. Uh, under textbook flexibility method is in chapter number 10. Chapter number uh, 10, it is called as a uh, force method. This is another name for flexibility method. So please also read uh, this textbook under chapter number 10, analysis of uh, statically indeterminate structure by the force method. Okay. Okay, number two, I have also put here... Uh, the slide. So this this is also not um, not mine. Uh, this is produced by uh, other lectures from from Shah Allah. We just uh, uh, have this version also, and this is uh, written by me. Okay, and if you want to uh, find uh, the the uh, the website version, you can click uh, the RSU UITM slash ES five two one. Okay, for for web uh, web page version. Okay, so under this module, okay, this is actually the workbook. So inside this book, you can find that uh, there are uh, blank pages uh, with some uh, guidance to answer. You can uh, answer or, or practice uh, inside the, the book. Okay, so flexibility method. Okay. Okay, this is all about flexibility method. So, uh, so under flexibility method, we uh, will uh, discuss uh, beam analysis and then trust a beam first frame, frame after beam, frame after beam, because frame has similar uh, analysis because we only consider bending effect only in frame and then followed by so chapter 1 just introduction chapter 2 uh, focus on beam analysis uh, there are problem uh, with uh, with solution and also uh, problem without solution i just put blank with uh, guidance to answer the question okay uh, and then chapter 3 focus on frame uh, frame analysis chapter 4 focus on thrust analysis and chapter 5 here uh, focus to composite structure so composite structure ni is actually combination of EI, flexural rigidity and EA, axial rigidity in one question. Okay, so for today, we will uh, focus on chapter number one, introduction to flexibility method. Okay, we will see, uh, uh, we will, uh, you will learn about redundant definition. What is redundant? Okay, uh, the principle of superposition concept principle of superposition that is very very important uh, in engineering actually uh, this principle of superposition uh, is a concept uh, where it is uh, applied not only for this uh, course uh, this uh, topic but also in moment distribution method topic the concept okay so i will introduce you about primary structure as well as redundant structure okay and then uh, we uh, I will also introduce you from uh, from the the uh, the equation that we will derive from the principle of superposition. We actually will determine displacement displacement in at redundant position in primary structure and in redundant structure, and then we will go to the procedure procedure. So most important, this session will be the most important. Uh, for you uh, to uh, to focus and to understand because uh, once you really understand about all this uh, concept, you can actually do all uh, apply that for all type of structure. Okay, so focus on this concept first and after this, uh, if uh, after this, if you really understand about this, we can apply directly to frame, we can ap apply directly to trust, you can apply directly to to composite structure. Anyway, basic uh, fundamental about 
about calculating reaction, about uh, writing moment equation in beam and frame. Uh, if for trust, uh, the knowledge about uh, how to determine the member forces uh, using easy method. We, we do not use method of, we use method of join, but we do it virtually. That is called as easy method. So that is very, very important for you to practice, practice and practice. Okay. So let's jump to uh, chapter number one, introduction to flexibility method. Okay, so about the about the learning uh, the learning outcome, uh, you have of course of course uh, you have to uh, focus on the keyword, okay, uh, or the key point that you need to uh, understand. Number one is degree of indeterminacy, degree of indeterminacy, degree of indeterminacy. I believe you have learned you have learned previously, uh, DOI. Maybe uh, the term is N. Sometimes the term is DOI. You, uh, I believe you have you have uh, uh, you have been introduced about this previously under CS four to four, or maybe in CS uh, in solid mechanic. Okay, and then from uh, from degree of indeterminacy, from degree of indeterminacy, we uh, we will determine. Okay, uh, we will identify redundant. We will identify redundant for indeterminate structure. Okay, uh, can you can you give me uh, the idea what is actually degree of indeterminacy? Because this one, I believe you have you have learned this previously. In your own word, simple word, what is degree of indeterminacy? Where where you uh, have used this before? Anyone can answer me? What is degree of indeterminacy? Where we use this? Why uh, why do we use the uh, degree of indeterminacy? Ada? Ada yang boleh jawab? Yang set balance the maiden. Okay. Degree of indeterminacy ni yang kita tentukan structure tu determinate or indeterminate ah, yes, yes. or unstable. Kan, dah jumpa dah kan previously, right? Okay, so previously under solid static, solid mechanic, determinate structure, you are only deals with all uh, degree of indeterminacy which is equal to zero. Remember? Okay. So remember? Yes, remember? Okay, so uh, sampai sampai lah 4 to 4 tu, you masih lagi uh, analyze all type of structure whenever DOI is equal to zero. So DOI is equal to zero is determinate structure. DOI, remember, eh? DOI is equal to zero is, uh, is, is determinate structure. If DOI is less than zero, what happened? What, what, what the name of the structure when, when DOI is less than zero? Indeterminate. Less than, not unstable. less than. Unstable. Unstable. So we have three categories. Okay, we have we have three. Yeah, we have three. So if less than zero, if less than zero, DOI ni, DOI. If less than zero, we call it as unstable. Okay, unstable. If equal to zero, it is determinate structure. Okay, if equivalent to zero, it is determinate structure. So determinate structure. Is the, uh, for example, if beam, beam, uh, beam, there are two types of determinate structure. It is cantilever beam. It is simply supported beam. Means that we determine DOI based on the support condition. Okay, the support condition. So you have, I, I believe you already understand about free body diagram. So whenever we want to calculate reaction at the support, we will put, uh, we will start with, with uh, draw the, the free body diagram. So when, uh, when we draw free body diagram, normally what we do? Free body diagram. What we do? Determine reaction. It determine reaction. Okay. Beam beam has two two type. Cantilever, simply supported beam. This is beam, right? Cantilever, simply supported beam. This is cantilever beam and simply supported beam. Cantilever beam, 
the free body diagram, we put one, two, and three at the fixed support, remember? Yes. Okay. For simply supported beam, we, we put two at pin, we put one at roller. Okay. Three. Three unknown reaction. Okay. Three unknown reaction. Uh, it in a simply supported beam and three unknown reaction in cantilever beam. Okay. So why we get zero? Why we get zero? Because. Okay, why we get zero? Because we can solve three unknown reaction using three equilibrium equation. Why we get zero? By looking at this diagram, because three equal three equi uh, three unknown reaction, these three unknown reaction can be solved using three equilibrium equation. Okay, this one is equilibrium equation. So that is why we get zero. So that so this is determinate structure. So same goes to frame, same goes to uh, truss as well. Uh, cuma truss ni you have uh, we have to consider the the member as well. So the formula to calculate DOI for truss uh, is different. So DOI DOI for truss is M plus R minus two. Who still remember? Two J. Two J. So this is special for trust because trust internal forces include in the calculation, included in the calculation. Okay. So, so this DOI unstable and the structure you have learned previously. Okay. Now, in determinate structure, in determinate structure, DOI. DOI? Greater than zero. Yes. Greater than zero. Greater than zero. So now we are going to focus on DOI greater than zero. What does it mean? What does it mean? Okay. Let's say DOI we 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 uh, determine from support from support because from unknown reaction. From unknown reaction. Okay, this beam. How many unknown reaction? How many? Fix, fix how many? Fix how many? Fix three roller. One, one, one. One. So total. Four, four, four. How how many reaction? Can be solved using three equilibrium equation. Three, right? We minus by three. DOI. This is the sim the simplest way to determine degree of indeterminacy. There are four unknown reaction, and only three can be solved using equilibrium equation. So tiga kat sini tetap lah. Yang berubah yang kat depan ni. Yang kat depan tu, yang kat depan tu is for reaction in the system. Reaction in the system. Now there are four. Come from one fix, one roller. Four. Four minus by three. Because three tu tak berubah tetap. We, because we have three equilibrium equation. Okay, this this one we get. This one we get. Dapat apa ni? One. Yeah, two. One. 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 Okay. What if? Okay, we have another one with two roller support. Okay. How many unknown reaction? Five. Five, five unknown reaction. So DOI is five minus minus three. Three. 5 minus 3. So, equivalent to 2. Okay. So, what does this mean? Okay, there are 5 unknown reaction and only 3 can be solved using equilibrium equation. 
there are remaining two. There are two now. The difference between unknown reaction and three equilibrium equation. So kat sini, one. Kat sini, two. Okay. So one and two ni is called as, apa tau? One and two ni is called as? Redundant. Redundant. Okay. So yang atas, one redundant. Yang bawah, two redundant. So this is redundant. Okay. Redundant. Sini. Okay. Redundant. Okay, after that, from redundant, we have to, uh, okay, we have to know uh, the, the, the next keyword. Saya lupa highlight kat sini. The next keyword is primary structure, redundant structure. The next keyword. Okay, the first keyword, degree of indeterminacy. From degree of indeterminacy, we identify number of redundant in the structure. Number of redundant. One or two or three. And of course, limit to three because only three can be solved using a manual calculation. Because at the end of analysis, we are going to determine redundant. And redundant, ni, redundant ni can be solved manually up to three. Up to three because three je yang boleh guna simultaneous equation, right? Okay, so so flexibility method we limit up to three redundant uh, because when it is four we cannot we cannot use uh, flexibility method to calculate the redundant manually. Okay, so so dalam ni dalam dalam uh, topik ni kita cover, kita akan cover uh, one redundant, two redundant. Okay, three redundant uh, also, but uh, once you understand two redundant, you can also solve three redundant. Because we apply the same procedure. The same procedure. Now, okay, uh, the next keyword is primary structure and redundant structure. Primary structure and redundant structure. Okay. After that, sebenarnya ada, ada explanation kat bawah tu. Okay, after you have understand what is primary structure, what is redundant structure, okay, the next keyword is compatibility equation. Compatibility equation, which we will derive from principle of superposition. Compatibility equation, we derive from principle of superposition. However, derivation is for first, for first time. Okay, for first time for you to understand the pro the process. Okay, the 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 process. But once you you have understand about about flexibility method, uh, once you have understand about compatibility equation. So for the rest of uh, uh the question after this, we just focus on uh, how to solve it. We do not have to derive it every time, because uh, once we identify, we have uh once we can identify redundant. Straight away, we can write the compatibility equation without derive anything yet. Uh, anything, okay? Huh? So derivation ni for 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 you to really understand uh, everything about flexibility method because understanding what is flexibility method is very important. Okay, please do not try to remember the procedure. Please understand. Okay, because once when you understand, you nampak dia satu. Tapi kalau you hafal, you nampak dia banyak. Okay, you akan nampak dia banyak. So, dalam ni ada truss, dalam ni ada frame, dalam ni ada beam, dalam ni ada composite structure. Sebenarnya nak cari reaction in truss, nak cari reaction in beam, nak cari reaction in frame kan sama je proses dia kan. Uh, lepas tu nak uh, writing moment equation in beam, writing moment equation in frame, semua adalah benda sama yang mana you have learned it previously. Sama juga displacement. Displacement, you have you have learned displacement, how to calculate displacement previously in CS424. 
So kita tak tak nak tengok benda ni S banyak. Kita nak tengok benda ni S1. So untuk tengok benda ni S1, you kena really understand the concept okay, of flexibility method. So that bila soalan tu macam mana pun kita boleh apply. Okay. Uh, so uh, after comparability equation, the, the next keyword is displacement. Displacement is the next keyword. Displacement. Itu je. Okay, itu je displacement. So once dah dapat displacement, kita akan substitute. Substitute dalam comparability equation. Nanti dah, lepas tu solve dapat redundant. Lepas tu uh, solve, solve lagi dapat remaining reaction. So, so kena remember tujuan asal Uh, tujuan kenapa kita kena belajar, uh, kenapa kita kena tahu flexibility method is okay, you are given one structure uh, that is indeterminate they try to faham the the, uh, the 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 outcome, the goal the goal, okay, you diberi satu soalan dan soalan tu uh, beam which is indeterminate apa makna indeterminate indeterminate ni makna dia There are four unknown reaction. There are five unknown reaction. So macam mana nak solve four unknown reaction? Macam mana nak solve three unknown, uh, uh, four, five unknown reaction? Sebab sebelum ni dah, dah belajar dah. Kira reaction pakai equilibrium equation. But now we have four unknown reaction. And we have uh, five unknown reaction. And sebelum ni belajar three je boleh solve. Sekarang five. Macam mana nak solve? Okay. So you ingat that concept. So whenever, whenever three equilibrium equation is not enough to solve for the reaction, that is why, okay, we have to have flexibility method. Okay, because flexibility method ni, okay, flexibility method ni akan calculate yang tak boleh calculate guna equilibrium equation. Okay, try to grab the concept. Okay, bila bila beam tu cantilever beam, bila beam tu simply supported beam, kita boleh calculate reaction guna equilibrium equation. That's the first idea. Okay, I'll just apply je. Apply total moment, total Fy, total Fx, boleh dapat. Three means that three unknown reaction can be uh, determined using three equilibrium equation. Tiga dengan tiga. Now, we have four unknown reaction. So, four means ada lebih satu. Yang lebih tu lah redundant. Four minus three, lebih satu. Tiga je boleh solve. Satu lagi tak boleh solve. So, satu ni nak solve dengan apa? So, satu ni lah nak solve dengan compatibility equation. So, uh, so compatibility equation ni is also uh, known as flexibility equation. Okay, ha, tapi uh, tapi yang uh, well known uh, uh, term for flexibility equation is compatibility equation. Okay, do you get the idea? Do you get the idea? Yes, madam. Okay. Yes, madam. Okay, so. So ada empat unknown reaction, tiga boleh solve, satu tak boleh solve. Yang tak boleh solve tu redundant. Okay, yang tak boleh solve tu redundant. So redundant ni kita akan solve using compatibility equation. Okay, so prosedur dia macam mana? Solve dulu compatibility, uh, solve dulu redundant. Selesaikan masalah dulu. So dalam kes ni, satu tu is the problem, redundant is the problem. Redundant is the problem. So, kalau solve redundant, uh, solve your problem. So, the idea is like that. Solve redundant, solve your problem. So, masalah kita ada redundant. Sebab redundant lah you tak dapat kira tiga remaining, uh, tiga reaction guna equilibrium equation. Sebab kalau dia tiga je reaction dalam satu sistem tu, you boleh solve guna equilibrium equation. Now ada empat. Now ada empat. Tiga boleh solve. Satu tak boleh solve. So, satu ni problem. The problem. Redundant is the problem. Solvekan problem ni dulu baru boleh solve lagi tiga. So that's the idea. Okay? So semua ni saya actually dah list dalam ni. Tapi saya belum letak lagi. 
Okay. Uh, kat sini lah. Kat sini. Okay, nanti uh, boleh tengok detail lah ya. Okay. Adalah saya letak sikit some intro tapi intro ni kan macam semalam saya tunjukkan pakai Cik GPT je dah macam-macam dia bagi version. Pakai Cik GPT uh, co-pilot ke kan. Uh, okay you jadikan uh, the keyword yang saya mention tu uh, as the idea untuk you search lagi search lagi search lagi kan. So that bila uh, dia akan terang lebih lagi lebih lagi. Okay uh, so yang ni uh, just introduction about flexibility method saya pun dah explain tadi. Okay. Okay. Uh, saya tak nak ulang lagi lah kat sini. Yang ni actually saya ambil je daripada textbook. Uh, yang uh, yang tadi saya tunjukkan. Okay. Redundant definition. Saya juga dah explain tadi. Redundant definition. Okay. Uh, yang, uh, so boleh baca balik lah. Untuk, untuk, untuk more understand about uh, what I have explained. So boleh baca balik nanti. So semua ni saya tulis macam apa yang saya cakap. Saya tulis. Saya cakap apa yang saya tulis. Yang saya cakap tu ada kat sini tadi. Okay. So this is cantilever beam. Ada three unknown reaction, boleh solve guna three equilibrium equation. Uh, now, bila ada extra support, uh, come with uh, extra support. Uh, then, uh, yang satu tu is the problem. The problem is redundant. So, we have to solve redundant. Solve the problem. Then, then only we can solve uh, remain, uh, We can solve reaction. We call, uh, we call, we normally call as remaining reaction. So, sat, yang satu tu pun reaction. Empat-empat ni reaction. Okay, empat-empat ni reaction. That's why kat sini selalu ada uh, sebut remaining reaction. Remaining reaction. Sebab uh, redundant pun reaction. Redundant is reaction. So, lepas you dapat reaction ni, dia ada remaining three. Remaining three. So, remaining three ni yang kita akan solve guna equilibrium equation. And also, uh, superposition method also uh, can. Okay. So, you boleh baca balik. Uh, saya dah, uh, macam tadi saya cakap, saya tulis dan saya cakap, uh, saya tulis apa yang saya cakap, saya cakap apa yang saya tulis. So, semua tadi saya dah sebut. Okay. So, ini diagram, uh, proper diagram lah. Okay. Okay. So, diagram ni, dah okay, now kita nak masuk kat dekat principle of superposition. Diagram ni daripada textbook. Diagram ni. Okay, tapi saya ada buat sikit uh, amendment. Flexibility method ni, kalau you tengok nota kan macam-macam version. Okay, macam-macam version. Okay, yang tadi saya tunjuk tu, yang nota saya tengok nota ni bukan saya punya tapi sebab uh, apa, yang ni dibawa ke Penang uh, oleh pensyarah syar alam yang pindah ke Penang. Dan dia pakai untuk kelas dia. So, adalah saya letak juga kat sini. Lepas tu, uh, dalam uh, MOOC, kalau BIM topik, Uh, Dr. Rukaya. So dia interpret cara dia. Okay. And uh, saya mengajar this uh, topic since 2007. 2007. Okay. At that time uh, bila saya uh, join UITM saya join UITM after after my master saya jadi engineer before that three years. About three years saya jadi engineer. So bila saya uh, join UITM in 2000, uh, 2000, 2005, 2007 saya start ambil discourse. course. Saya tinggalkan numerical analysis. Malah saya, saya dah sebut kan. Siapa yang kelas numerical analysis dia, dia, uh, saya dah sebut. Okay saya mula-mula join UITM saya mengajar numerical analysis. So saya tinggalkan numerical analysis saya uh, mengajar discourse. So 2007 saya start pegang this, uh, this course, this topic, uh, this flexibility method. Lepas dah tinggal lama dunia-dunia uh, buku ni lah. Sebab dah, bila dah kerja kan tak, tak pakai flexibility method semua kan. Saya kerja dekat consultant uh, under infra infrastructure department. So memang tinggal dulu lah structure masa tu. Okay so bila join balik UITM saya dapat uh, mengajar uh, structure analysis course and uh, and uh, this is one of the topic. Okay bila saya dapat that, this topic saya baca pun tak faham. Okey, saya cari uh, banyak not saya saya refer banyak nota-nota uh, senior, saya tak faham, baca tak faham. Okey, saya cari buku-buku yang masa tu boleh jumpa lah. bukan ada internet macam bukan ada AI macam sekarang ni. Kan? Uh, saya tengoklah banyak version lah buku, banyak version nota-nota yang saya jumpa dekat uh, dekat dalam 
dan, dan bila kita search kat Google tu kan Lepas tu saya juga book, uh, open uh, YouTube masa tu yang banyak explain tentang all this adalah uh, uh, Professor from India Banyak uh, professor, professor from India Lepas tu baca textbook This Hebler is the 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 main reference baca textbook uh, Pun tak uh, tak really faham benda ni Okay then and total saya baca tu kita take, take time untuk baca uh, every day bangun pukul 3 pagi untuk study tapi macam baca baca ni macam lain dia tulis macam ni macam lain dia tulis simbol lain dia pakai so at the end apa saya buat saya uh, close everything and tulis balik in my own understanding okay Bukan baca tu tak faham langsung. Maksudnya ni baca ni okey faham sikit. Ini konsep dia macam ni. Baca ni faham sikit. Tapi nak deliver dekat student tu tak boleh macam tu. Tak boleh kejap version, version ni, kejap version tu tak boleh. Okey. So bila dah bergabung banyak yang videonya, yang notanya, yang nota-nota uh, daripada uh, pesyarah senior, yang daripada buku modul. Uh, so combine all together berpuluh-puluh uh, material yang saya refer at the end. Uh, apa yang saya buat, saya close all and write back in my own understanding. So inilah dia apa yang saya tulis. That's why saya kata tadi, saya tulis apa yang saya baca, saya baca apa yang saya tulis. Okay. Because benda ni, kalau you faham, dia straight forward. Kalau you tak faham, uh, dia dah mulalah. Uh, dia jadi macam semua benda tak faham. Okay. Uh, semua benda susah. Okay. And then kat sini juga, ini kan diagram ni daripada textbook. Tapi saya juga ubah uh, simbol uh, daripada textbook. Okay, kalau you tengok kat sini kan. Because saya kata tadi kan, saya tulis apa yang saya faham. Okay, so mana-mana yang buat buat saya confuse, saya uh, saya buang. Okay, so that's why you akan jumpa banyak bu banyak buku uh, guna different simbol. Okay, so this is, this is the diagram given in the textbook. Okey, uh, kat sini uh, dia letak uh, delta prime. Delta prime. Okey, kat sini dia, dia letak delta prime. Delta prime. Okey, saya buang delta prime. Okey, tengok eh. Bila saya modify, so this is uh, what we have. And saya nak you faham apa yang saya faham. Okey, this is the idea. Okey, this is the idea. Okey, now Uh, this is about principle of superposition Principle of superposition ni dia macam ni Dia A, uh, dia, uh, A is equal to B tambah C That is principle of superposition A is equal to B tambah C Tambah B tambah C jadi A Okay So the idea is You are analyzing in determinate structure So let's say kita ambil the simple one This is the simple one Okay as given in the textbook Okay So, actual beam ni is indeterminate beam. Actual beam is indeterminate beam. Okay, look at the support. They are fixed support and roller support. So, by looking at the support, we know that there are four unknown reaction. Four unknown reaction. So, bila four unknown reaction, once we faham the concept of flexibility kan, redundant, Okay, this, uh, empat ni ada uh, tiga je boleh solve. Satu tak boleh. So, satu tu problem. Satu tu redundant. Okay, so itu dah faham. Okay, this is actual beam. Okay. Tadi saya juga ada sebut. Okay, when we identify redundant, uh, uh, when we when uh, when we have identify the redundant, redundant tu we have to solve. Solve the problem first. Solve the problem first means solve the redundant. Solve the redundant. Okay. So how to solve redundant? By applying the principle of superposition. So what does it mean? We have to remove redundant. We have to remove redundant. So dalam ni ada empat. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ya yeah, dalam ni ada empat. Dalam ni ada empat. Okay, in determinate structure ni, kita tak boleh solve dia direct. Okay, um, uh, tak boleh solve dia direct. Tak, tak boleh, kalau you apply equilibrium equation, nak solve empat-empat ni, you takkan dapat. That's why yang solve guna equilibrium equation tu last kali. You takkan dapat. So, apa kita buat, kita apply what we call as principle of superposition. 
And what we do is we remove the redundant. We remove the redundant. Apa jadi bila kita remove redundant? Redundant ada berapa dalam ni? Ada berapa redundant dalam ni? Satu. 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 Okay, kalau kita remove redundant, kalau kita remove redundant, DOI jadi apa? Kosong. 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 DOI, DOI kosong sama dengan? DOI. Determinate. Di DOI kosong sama dengan determinate. Means that bila kita buang redundant, dia jadi determinate beam. Okay, bila kita buang satu, dia jadi determinate beam. Okay, so kat sini kita buang satu. Kita buang redundant. Buang redundant pada beam. That means kita remove roller. Remove roller. Remove roller maknanya kita choose redundant. BY tu jadi redundant. You get the idea. Remove satu. So dalam case ni dia remove BY. Bila dia remove BY, dia jadi apa? Lepas remove BY. Dia jadi primary structure. Remove BY, dia jadi primary structure. So nampak tak kat sini dah tak ada roll, dah tak ada roller tu. Okay, dah tak ada roller. Dah tak ada roller. Okay, remember redundant is the problem, solve the problem. So macam mana nak solve the problem? Remove redundant. When we remove redundant, it become primary structure. So primary structure is determinate structure. Primary structure is determinate structure. Redundant ni dia akan ada option. Dia not necessary BY. Yang lain pun boleh jadi redundant. Okay. But make sure, make sure when we remove redundant, dia jadi determinate beam. Dia tak jadi unstable. Maksudnya bila kita remove redundant, dia mesti represent support. Dalam case ni, bila kita remove BY, dia jadi cantilever. Cantilever beam. Ada tak option lain selain daripada BY? Ada tak option lain? Selain daripada daripada BY. Kalau BY jadi cantilever. Ada tak option lain yang kita boleh remove as redundant? Ada tak? Kan ada empat. Nak buang satu. Ada empat kat sini. Okay. Ada tak? Yang lain remove. yang kita boleh remove. Okay. Remove moment dekat A. Moment dekat A. Remove moment dekat A. So... Kita juga boleh remove moment dekat A. Bila kita remove moment dekat A, dia jadi apa? Remove moment daripada fix, dia jadi pin. 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 So, dia akan jadi pin dengan roller. Pin dengan roller. So, is this determinate beam? Is this determinate beam? Yes. yes. Okay. So determinate beam. So simply supported beam also, also uh, can be the primary structure. Cuma dalam case ni, dia pilih BY as redundant. So dia jadi cantilever. Okay. So this is primary structure. After removing redundant, after removing redundant, it is the primary structure. Okay, yang tak ada kat sini cuma the support, the the roller support. Yang lain maintain. Masih ada lagi P, masih ada external loading. Loading tak buang. Hanya buang the redundant. Okay, lepas tu bila kita buang, dia sama tak dengan B sama tak dengan A? Bila kita buang, adakah B sama dengan A selepas kita buang? Tak. Tak sama. So now lepas kita buang, B dah tak sama dengan A. So tak boleh lah. So kita kena letak balik BY tu. Letak balik BY tu. Okay. Letak balik BY tu. Nampak tak? Okay. This is redundant, redundant beam. This is redundant structure. This is redundant system. Okay, so primary structure and redundant structure ni both 
have same system. Okay, kalau lepas remove redundant, dia jadi cantilever beam. Redundant structure also cantilever beam. Kalau uh, after you buang uh, MA, for example, dia jadi simply supported beam. You will have another simply supported beam, which is the redundant beam. Okay, nampak tak? Dua-dua dua -dua, uh, cantilever beam. Dua-dua cantilever beam. So, dekat redundant beam, we apply back BY. Okay, tadi BY kita remove, right? We, we remove roller means we remove BY. So, in in uh, redundant beam, we apply BY. We do not put roller. Okay, we do not put roller but we put BY. We assume that BY is an applied load. Dia macam kalau BY, kita assume... Kalau kalau uh, we assume it is applied load into the beam. Kita letak BY to as an applied load. Assume that BY is an applied load. That is why kat sini dia tulis BY applied. Redundant BY applied. So redundant BY applied is is the redundant system, redundant beam, redundant structure. Okay? So Uh, jangan fokus lagi pada uh, pada ni. Yang ni saya akan masuk lepas ni. Eh. Okay, just fokus pada uh, yang kita buang dan yang kita letak balik tu. Okay, so actual beam, primary beam, redundant beam, redundant BY apply. Okay, yang ni yang kena faham betul-betul dulu. Okay, boleh? Sekejap lagi saya nak, uh, so everyone dah boleh uh, dah boleh upload uh, dalam, uh, saya nak lepas ni, okay, saya akan buka satu satu uh, page uh, dalam collaboration space ni, so that uh, saya nak you respond, sini, dekat collaboration space ni, uh, collaboration space, saya add one for flexibility method, Flexibility method. Si yang ni you boleh uh, upload direct. So hari ni, hari ni session 22 hari bulan eh. Hari ni session uh, 22 hari bulan 3, 2024. Okay, uh, 24. Okay. So kat sini kejap lagi saya nak you all uh, insert ya, eh, insert, insert uh, print, insert image, image, image. Okay kejap lagi saya nak bagi masa uh, uh, you all uh, uh, buat sikit, uh, snap picture and upload dalam ni. Tak payah letak nama tak apa. Okay uh, dia akan keluar-keluar kat sini lah. Okay uh, because saya nak tengok uh, your understanding tu. Okay so okay saya nak suruh you buat. Yang tadi ni is flexibility method. Okay. Saya nak you buat uh, the the principle of superposition when when MA is the redundant. You look at macam ni gak. You look at uh, actual beam is equal to primary uh, primary structure plus redundant structure. Tapi uh, Tukarkan MA as redundant. You sketch right now dekat uh, your paper and then snap picture and upload dalam uh, one note tadi tu. Okay, uh, give you about 10 minutes to do that. Just ikut je yang ni, cuma kita uh, tukarkan uh, the redundant. Okay, uh, if if MA is the redundant. Okay, macam mana equation diagram ni, uh, diagram ni uh, look like. Boleh? Saya tunggu dekat sini eh. Uh, dekat dekat collaboration space. Okay, just uh, upload okay from file boleh, from camera boleh okay, from your from your device. Boleh for five uh, five minit pun dah cukup dah actually. Okay, don't take long time so benda tu boleh buat satu minit je. Okay. Ada soalan tak?
medium medium mute Okay, follow uh, follow the diagram tu. A ada ada A ada B ada C ada actual beam ada primary beam ada redundant beam. Okay, choose M A as redundant. Tengok macam mana macam mana uh, the the diagram look like. Okay, actual beam, primary beam, and redundant beam. Lima minit ya, eh? lima minit. Ada soalan boleh tanya eh? Okay, please upload at least satu dua ke. Okay, jangan takut try eh. Salah tak apa. Tak ada siapa nak hukum siapa, tak ada siapa salah. Okay, just upload. Semua orang boleh access kan one note?
Kalau tak jumpa saya bagi link sekejap. Saya letak link, you click link tu, you akan terus, dia akan terus open uh, the page. Akan terus open page ni. Tak letak link eh. Okay. So kat sini ada satu ada, ada benda tertinggal eh. Dia tak boleh hanging macam ni. So dua-dua can dua-dua simply supported beam maknanya dua-dua simply supported beam. Sini punya support kena letak eh. So ini yang ramai bila exam pun dia tertinggal. Okay betul you, you apply MA at A tu dah betul dah. Tapi dia bukan hanging. Beam tu adalah adalah simply supported beam. So dia ada juga arrow macam mana dekat dekat primary structure. Jangan you draw hanging macam tu. Hanging tu tak represent apa-apa pun. Okay. So both are the same structure. Primary structure. Primary structure. Redundant structure. Dua-dua sama. Kalau primary structure tu can deliver beam. Redundant structure also can deliver beam. Please remember that. Dalam exam selalu soalan ni uh, macam soalan wajib ditanya. Minta student draw primary structure. Draw redundant structure. Tetapi still ada yang draw. Salah ataupun dia just tinggal. Sedangkan ini memang nak bagi markah free. Okay. Primary structure. Bila kita buang uh, moment. Dia jadi simply supported beam. Simply supported beam. Ada AY, AX, BY. So AY, AX, BY. Juga ada pada redundant structure. Plus dengan MA yang kita remove. Okay. So yang ini juga tergantung. So sama ada you nak letak dia punya support atau you letak dia punya uh, free body diagram tu. So sini ada AY, AX, BY. Sama juga sini kena ada AY, AX, BY. Baru dia jadi determinate beam. Kita bukan buang redundant jadi unstable. Bila kita buang redundant dia jadi determinate beam. So you kena draw determinate beam. Primary structure is determinate beam. Redundant structure also determinate beam. Redundant MA applied. Okay. Please remember. Tak kisahlah dia nanti you, you buat frame or you buat trust. Must, must, please make sure primary structure and redundant structure are the same type of structure. The same type of structure. Beza kat mana hanya beza pada loading. Hanya beza pada loading. Primary structure, external loading given in the question. Redundant structure is is the redundant applied. Ada lagi tak? Okay. So, biasakan buat benda yang betul. So, that bila sampai exam pun you akan buat benda yang betul. Okay. Okay, this one okay. So, sama ada you, kalau you, you tak letak uh, the free body diagram, uh, you tak letak dia punya arrow ni, you letak support pun I still can accept. Okay, you, you, you just letak je. Okay, pin roller, pin roller dua-dua. Mesti dua-dua kena ada pin roller. Kalau you tak nak letak pin roller, you letak AY, AX uh, dengan BY. Letak pada both. Jangan biar dia tergantung. Okay, dia tergantung, dia, dia tak jadi structure. Okay, dia tergantung, dia jadi unstable. Okay, so yang ni betul. So yang lain-lain tu please take note. Okay, jangan buat mistake ni. Sebab ini soalan yang setiap kali exam ditanya. Okay. Uh, primary structure plus redundant structure. So this is the principle of superposition. Principle of superposition. So we apply this. We apply this to all. We apply this to frame. We apply this to uh, to trust. Okay, we apply this concept also to composite structure. Okay, lagi? Tak apa, yang mana salah ni take note dan uh, don't do the same mistake again. Okay. Uh, So yang 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 last ni betul lah. Okay. So uh, yang lain-lain patut cuba juga eh. Tak payah, tak payah segan. Okay. Lebih baik you uh, buat salah sekarang daripada buat salah dalam exam. Okay. Kita nak biasakan benda yang betul daripada awal. Ada yang tambah pages ke? Takkan. Okay. Uh, letak dekat-dekat dekat yang saya bagi tu. Uh, saya letak date tu. Okay. Yang lain-lain boleh teruskan letak. Okey nanti saya komen. You boleh nampak lah. Saya boleh komen lepas ni. 
Okay, yang lain-lain juga tolong upload lepas ni. Saya tak sempat nak tengok semua sekarang. Okay, please upload. Saya tak payah tak, saya tak nak tahu pun siapa punya. Just upload saja dalam ni. Nanti saya akan uh, tengok dan betulkan. Okay, so you boleh masuk balik dan check lah. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, make sure everyone understand about this concept. This is very, very important. Okay, we go back to uh, to this. Okay, now uh, principle of superposition. Ini dia, principle of superposition. Okay, nanti boleh baca lah. Okay, boleh baca. Tapi saya nak fokus kepada this one. Okay, so what is principle of superposition? It is actual structure equal to primary structure plus redundant structure. Okay, primary structure plus redundant structure. Please remember, primary structure, redundant structure, both are determinate structure. Means that flexibility method ni, dia konsep je. Solution dia, you kena determine reaction in in uh, determinate structure. You kena write moment equation in determinate structure. You kena calculate displacement in determinate structure. So, concept flexibility method adalah pada principle of superposition. Okay, because yang kita akan solve after this, is this two structure. Okay, two structure. Kalau one redundant, we have two structure. If two redundant, we have three structure. So, there plus lagi. Kalau kalau two redundant. Okay. Okay, clear? So, kita nak masuk dekat sini. So, explanation ni boleh baca. Okay, dekat sini. Okay, saya nak... Saya nak uh, Okay, yang ni you baca, saya nak uh, buat from from zero ya. Eh. Saya nak buat from zero. Saya tulis tepi ni ya. Eh. Okay. Saya tulis tepi ni. Okay, so tolong tulis banyak kali. Uh, tolong tolong remember principle of superposition, the general equation. Actual beam, actual beam is equal to primary beam plus redundant beam. Okay. Tak kisahlah nak tulis structure ke, nak tulis sistem ke, nak tulis frame ke, trust ke, tak kisah. Okay, this uh, this time this is, uh, we analyze beam, so saya letak beam dulu lah. So, please remember this because this is uh, the principle of superposition. Actual beam equal to primary beam plus redundant beam. Okay, so let's say okay, we have uh, we have one beam here. Saya ikut yang dalam buku tadi tu. Okay. So this is A, B. Okay, point load at the center, P. P at the center. Okay, this is actual beam. Okay, this is actual beam. This is indeterminate beam. So number one. Number one, kita akan check for degree of indeterminacy to determine number of redundant. So, there are four minus three is equal to one. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four unknown reaction. Four unknown reaction ni is AY, AX, MA dan juga BY. For unknown reaction. So, this is the goal. This is the objective. So, inilah dia. So, kita nak sekarang ni, kita dapat this this beam. Okay. Kita nak cari AY, AX, MA, BY. Itu soalan dia. Okay. So, nak cari nak cari AY, AX, MA and BY, we cannot use equilibrium equation only. Because there are four. Because they are four. Three can, uh, 
3 only can be solved using equilibrium equation. Okay, 1 cannot. Okay, 1 cannot. So, this uh, 1 is the redundant, the problem. Okay, so what we do? We will choose the redundant to remove from the system. We will choose the redundant to remove from the system. Okay, let's say we remove BY. We remove BY. So, redundant is BY. Redundant is BY. Okay. Redundant is BY means well, the, the redundant position is B. So, redundant BY means redundant position ni dekat B. Position. Position ni dekat B. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, now, so uh, we know that we uh, we will remove BY. So, by removing BY, we get cantilever beam. Cantilever beam. So, apa nak buat lepas tu? Apa nak buat lepas tu? Okay, uh, because we want to uh, relate this with uh, displacement. Displacement. Okay, displacement, uh, displacement occur. Okay, you dah belajar dah uh, unit load method. Remember, you have learned unit load method principle of virtual work. Principle of virtual work ni is one method to calculate displacement in the structure. It, and uh, and actually, dia bukan limit kepada determinate structure only. Okay, so one method to solve for displacement is unit load method. Okay. So, recall back the concept that, that you have learned in unit load method. Okay. In the, uh, we will have real system and virtual system. Okay. In the virtual system, we will apply. Okay. We will apply a unit value. A unit value. So, kalau, kalau uh, yang kita nak calculate is displacement, we will apply a unit force. Kalau yang kita nak calculate is uh, rotation, we will apply a unit moment. So, so that concept we will use here. Okay. Kalau yang you nak calculate is uh, is delta deflection. Kita apply apa? Kita apply P. Kita apply P. Kalau yang kita nak cari soalan dia minta you cari slope or rotation. Kita apply moment. A unit moment. A unit force. Yang ni. Masih ingat? Masih ingat tak benda ni? Masih ingat tak? Ingat je. Okay. Okay. So sebenarnya benda ni we, we we normally write like this P delta and M theta. M theta. Ha, ni satu terbalik lah saya nak tunjuk kat atas tu. Delta tu induced by P. Moment induced by M. Okay tapi Yang bawah ni saya tulis balik ni, P delta dengan M theta ni, dia ada dia adalah satu uh, term dalam structural uh, engineering tau. Yang nama dia, uh, P delta ni dia panggil P delta effect. P delta effect. And M theta ni dia panggil moment curvature. M theta ni dia panggil moment curvature. Ha, yang ni advance lah tapi, tapi nak bagi tahu dia punya relation relation means that okay kalau p kalau p kita tengok displacement kalau moment kita tengok theta okay in this case kita punya redundant ni m or p by as the redundant m or p P. 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 P ya, eh? sini P. Sini P. P. Means that kita kena tengok displacement. Okay. Focus on on displacement at 
redundant position at B. At B. Sebab apa at B? Sebab redundant redundant tu pada pada B. Focus on delta at at point B. At point B. So same goes to kalau moment as redundant. Okay. Kita akan tukar everything lah. Uh, kita akan tukar M tu, uh, MA. Uh, kita akan tukar position. Nah, same goes to the other, the other one. Okay, yang ni kita fokus bila BY is the redundant. So, focus on delta at point B. Okay. In all system. In all system. Apa system tu? Apa system tu? We have three system we get from from the principle of superposition this is the principle of superposition okay so this is systems actual beam is the system primary beam is the system redundant beam is the system so what we need to do is we want to focus we need to focus focus on the displacement at point B means at redundant position. Okay, so dia macam ni. Okay, we have or uh, this is actual. This is actual beam. Okay, kita fokus pada point B ya, eh. point B. Where displacement, bila kita draw deflected shape, dia akan jadi macam ni. Displacement. Okay, this is actual beam. Actual beam is equal to primary beam. Primary beam. This is primary beam. Second one is primary beam. Primary beam. Primary beam, loading ada. Yang kita remove is the roller. Okay. So now focus pada point B. Focus pada point B. Look at the deflection. Deflection. Okay. Let's say sini P, sini P. Atau you anggap dia ada, ada nilai. So that we boleh nampak. P tak nampak kan? Okay. Anggap dia ada nilai. 100 kilo newton. 100 kilo newton. Newton. Okay, kalau ke atas dia punya deflection yang purple tu okay, it it is like that because of the support. So what happen to primary beam? We have removed the roller. So how the, def the, 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 the deflection, how the deflected shape of this beam look like? Dia jadi macam mana? Antilever beam like this, macam mana dia, dia uh, deflect? Macam mana dia deflect? Turun ke bawah. Turun ke bawah. Okay, macam ni. Okay, kita remember kita nak fokus pada point B. Deflection at point B. Okay. Nanti saya label. Kita habiskan dulu lagi satu. Ni uh, actual beam, primary beam. Now redundant beam. Redundant BY applied. Redundant BY applied. K okay, plus. Okay, we have another beam. It is also cantilever beam. Okay. No more 100 because 100 ni dah tak ada kat bawah ni ya. Eh. 100 ni sebab kita nak dapat yang atas. Kita nak dapat yang actual. Means that kalau uh, nak dapat 100. It is 100 kat sini. Tambah 0 dapat 100. So that no more 100 in redundant beam. Because kita nak tambah tu 100, 100 plus 0 equal to 100. Okay, principle of superposition. So this one is redundant. Re, redundant. BY, apply. Okay, redundant BY, apply. Okay, so now. We will apply BY here. Kita nak tengok kat sini. 
Point B. Point B. Okay, you anggap BY ni value. Jangan anggap dia uh, dia unknown. Anggap dia value. Apply. BY apply. Anggap dia value juga. What happen? Dia macam scan deliver beam sini satu. Sini so, seratus. Sini satu. So, jadi, jadi macam mana uh, diagram tu? Macam mana dia, dia punya deflection? Deflection at point B. Deflection at point B. Ke mana dia? Ke atas. Ke atas. Ke atas. Okay, ke atas. Deflection at point B ke atas. Okay. So, this is we, what we call as principle of superposition. Okay, kita nak tengok deflection. Sebab sebab redundant to P. Kita nak tengok deflection, delta. At point B. At point B. Deflection at point B. Okay. Deflection at point B in actual beam. Yang lain tak tengok. Point A tak tengok. Dekat tengah tak tengok. Tengok dekat redundant position. Deflection at point B. Equal to? Equal to? Look at the diagram. Deflection at point B equal to? But? Zero. Zero. Deflection at point B equal to zero. Because in actual beam, ada roller kat situ. Okay, so we understand that dekat support, there's no deflection. Okay, there is no deflection. So delta B at, uh, delta B in actual beam is equal to zero. Okay, now move to primary beam. Move to primary beam at point B. Ada deflection? Ada deflection? Ada. 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 Okay. So, delta at point B for primary beam. This is the symbol yang kita pakai for primary beam. Symbol B not. Dia ada dua eh. B dengan dengan O tu. B dengan O. O B dengan zero. Kita panggil B not. Okay. So ni membezakan sis between system. Yang atas tu. Actual system. It is only delta at point B. Actual system. Delta at point B. Okay. Yang bawah. Primary beam. Primary beam. So kita nak bezakan yang atas setiap label, setiap sistem kita kena bezakan. Okay. So primary beam, primary beam, we use the symbol not to represent primary beam, primary system. Okay. So macam ni, tengok macam ni kita sebut. Delta at point B. Delta at point B for primary beam. Label tu dah menunjukkan dia dari dia tu sistem mana satu. Okay. Delta is deflection. The first notation is point. Di mana benda tu happen. Occur. Measure. Deflection at point B. Yang belakang tu merujuk kepada sistem apa tu. Not is the symbol we use for primary system. So. Dia akan jadi delta B not. Delta B not. Okey kat sini lah yang saya kata. Banyak buku, banyak simbol yang dia pakai. Okey macam-macam simbol dia pakai. Okey ada yang just pakai huruf D. Representing this delta B not. Ada yang pakai simbol uh, macam ni. Representing delta B not. Tapi you akan confuse nanti. Saya tunjukkan, saya use this symbol. So that lepas ni apa kita akan buat. Kita macam uh, working with the flow pun dapat jawapan. So tak payah nak pecah otak nak pergi hafal. D ni apa? 
Theta prime B ni apa? So, tak nak ni. You akan nampak that relation after this. Okay. So we use. So kita sebut pun. Kita sebut apa yang kita tulis. Okay. It is deflection. It is deflection at point B for primary beam. Okay. Settle that part. Okay. Dekat sini ada displacement yang kita akan calculate. Okay. Displacement yang kita akan calculate. Okay. Move to the next one. Redundant BY applied. Redundant BY applied. Okay. So remember kita as, kita tak letak sini BY as unknown. Kita letak BY we assume as an applied load. Okay. Jadi apa kita nak label dulu untuk yang ni. Kita tengok eh. Label. Label yang kita akan pakai. So dia akan ada deflection. Okay, so asal dia macam ni. Kita sebut apa yang kita tulis. Kita tulis apa kita sebut. It is deflection. It is, apa sebut? Deflection at point B for redundant beam. And redundant yang kita pakai kat sini adalah BY. So kita ambil B tu pakai a second notation. So redundant beam, redundant beam maksudnya in redundant beam there are Okay, satu je lah. There is, okay, delta at pos, at point B, sini. Delta deflection at point B. At point B for redundant BY applied. B yang kedua tu dah menunjukkan kepada kita, redundant kita is BY. Tapi kita tak tulis lah, BY tulis B. Okay, delta at point B for Redundant BY apply. Yang pertama merujuk kepada position. Yang kedua merujuk kepada sistem. Okay. Yang pertama merujuk kepada position. Yang kedua merujuk kepada sistem. Okay. So kita ada displacement. Displacement at point B for three system. Okay. So this is the principle of superposition. Now from this diagram. We will write the equation. We call it as compatibility equation. And compatibility equation is actually based on displacement occur at each, uh, at point B for each system. Okay. Means that kita nak gabung lah. Sekarang kita, tadi kita draw diagram. Ikut kepada principle of superposition. Now, bila kita dah ada diagram, kita fokus kepada Kat mana redundant tu? Dekat B. So bila now lepas kita dah fokus kepada B, kita draw deflection. Okay, kita draw ni sebab nak nak bagi you nampak deflection tu kat mana dia duduk. Kat mana, daripada mana kita dapat uh, the the, equa the compatibility equation. Because kita tak nak belajar hafal compatibility equation. Faham dulu baru lepas ni kita apply. Okay, so lepas dah ada sistem, kita tengok pada point di mana redundant tu kita pilih. Point B. So pada setiap uh, pada setiap sistem dekat point B ada deflection. Okay. Deflection in, in in actual zero because dia ada support. Asal. Original. Actual. Okay. Primary beam after removing redundant dia ada delta. We label as delta B naught. Delta B naught tu kita kita tahu. Okay. Delta B naught. Not. This is primary system. Okay, delta BB, belakang tu B, this is prime, uh, this is redundant BY applied. Macam tu cara kita analyze uh, this uh, this diagram, okay, which is based on the principle of superposition. Now kita nak keluarkan semua deflection ni, tulis in one equation. Keluarkan all this, tulis in one equation, okay. Kita akan back to the equation, equation kita ni, actual beam. Is equal to primary beam plus redundant beam. Makna dia, actual beam is delta B. Delta B equal to delta yang kedua, primary B naught. Okay. Then, uh, redundant. Lepas primary redundant, delta BB. Okay, delta BB. So, dapatlah this. So this is asal kepada uh, asal kepada compatibility equation. Com 
compatibility equation. Okay, asal kepada compatibility equation. That's why dalam ni, dalam ni memang lain sikit. Okay, different orang, different cara dia tulis. Okay, ha, nampak tak dia lain? Ha, dia lain. Nanti you akan nampak. Saya saya simplify paling mudah for you to follow. Ha, you akan nampak. You tengok yang ni, you rasa macam susahnya. Tak, dia tak susah. Okay, cuma cuma cara macam mana kita, in, uh, kita, uh, kita nak deliver benda tu. Okey. Di sini. Okey, yang ni faham tak macam mana dapat yang ni? This one. Faham tak macam mana dapat? Faham nak tanya. Okey. Okey. Okey, sekarang saya nak tanya eh. Saya nak tanya. Saya dah ni yang ni nanti jadi zero. Yang ni nanti jadi zero. So kita punya task nak cari nilai ni, nak cari nilai ni. Okey, cuba tengok dua-dua diagram ni. Kena ingat, goal kita adalah redundant. First goal lah, first goal. Second goal, kesemuanya sekali. First goal is the redundant, second goal, kesemuanya sekali. Maksudnya, remaining remaining three unknown reaction. Okey, cuba tengok diagram ni. Boleh selesai tak dengan dengan this equation? Boleh selesai tak dengan this equation? Kita tengok eh. Sebab dua-dua ni, dua-dua uh, ni ya, kita tengok eh. Okey, tengok diagram ni. Tengok, uh, okey, tengok dua ni. Okey, cuba tanya, tanya, tanya diri. Bila, bila, bila saya tengok primary beam. Uh, saya ni kamu lah, uh, kan. Okey, uh, tanya dia, uh, tanya lah aku lah aku. Okey, aku tengok diagram ni, primary beam ni. Okey, beam ni uh, cantilever beam. Subjected to 100 km. Boleh tak calculate delta? Boleh tak determinate beam yang ada loading 100 kN? Boleh tak calculate deflection? Boleh tak? From 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 previous understanding. Sebelum ni dah belajar dah uh, yang ni. Dah belajar dah. Kalau overall ni memanglah capacity method kan tapi kau tengok dia satu-satu. Okay, primary beam you ada satu satu cantilever beam yang ada loading satu je kat tengah-tengah 100 kN. Boleh tak kira reaction? Boleh tak right moment equation? Boleh tak kira displacement? Cuba jawab. Boleh tak boleh? Boleh. 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 Boleh kira nilai delta sebab 100 kN tu. Sebab tu saya tukar lagi tak, tak pakai P, pakai 100 kN. Means that kita boleh calculate. Tak kisahlah dia 100 ke dia 200 ke dia UDL ke dia tak, you tambah, mom, tambah lagi uh, ada point load, ada moment. Tak kira lah uh, apa saja load atas tu, ada satu load atau dua load atau tiga load, tak kisah. As long as dia uh, dia uh, can deliver beam, dia ada loading, loading tu ada nilai, you boleh kira displacement. Okay, sekarang tanya diri sendiri. Okay, tengok redundant beam. Boleh tak cari nilai? When it is subjected to BY, boleh tak cari nilai? Tak boleh. Tak boleh. Tanya diri dan jawab secara jujur. Yang ni tak boleh cari nilai BY. Okay. Yang ni kita tak boleh cari nilai BY. Sebab tu lah sebenarnya dalam buku teks dia ada explain benda ni. Dia ada explain benda ni. Equation ni dah betul dah. Tetapi kita tak boleh cari nilai BY yang kita nak. Goal kita BY. Okay. Goal kita BY. So dalam buku juga ada explain. Dalam buku teks juga ada. Okay, dia akan uh, change the redundant uh, BY applied menjadi a unit value of BY. This diagram, this diagram, okay, this diagram baru kita akan ubah menjadi, okay, I want to ask you, sama tak BY dengan 1 times BY? Sama tak? Sama. 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 Okay. Okay, now, now, because kita nak solve kan, kita kena solve redundant BY applied. Sama macam kita solve yang atas. Okay, kita tak boleh solve BY dalam ni. Tak boleh. So, apa yang kita boleh buat, kita kena jadikan BY as 1 times BY. 
And kita akan analyze analyze this due to a unit value. So apa kita buat? Okay, yang diagram ni, redundant bewet plot ni, kita redraw, redraw. Okay, redraw. Okay, tadi BY kan? Okay, now 1, 1 times BY. Sama, cuma kita kita just change BY kepada 1 times BY. 1 times BY. Okay, 1 times BY. Okay, now, BY, when we take up, when we take up BY, okay, due to a unit value, dia pun akan deflect. Dia akan deflect sama macam yang tadi. Okay, dia akan deflect ke atas. Okay, now kita tengok dia sebagai satu sistem, satu sistem, it is cantilever beam subjected to a unit value. Subjected to a unit value. Yang ni pejam mata dulu. Pejam mata dulu. Subjected to a unit value. So, okay now, due to a unit value, boleh tak kira reaction boleh tak calculate, uh, boleh tak write moment equation? Boleh tak calculate displacement? Boleh tak? Kalau due to a unit value, boleh, boleh kira reaction tak? Boleh tak kira reaction? Boleh. Boleh. Okay, so sini adalah delta, uh, sini adalah deflection. Tetapi, bila kita tukarkan uh, by menjadi 1 times by, Sini bukan lagi delta B, uh, BB. Delta BB bila BY. Sekarang dia satu. So kita uh, satu due to a unit value. Delta BB bertukar menjadi FBB. FBB. Due to a unit value, delta is FBB. F2, F2 is flexibility coefficient. Okay, they depend on question. It can be rotation. It can be displacement. Okay, so dia konsep dia macam ni. Kalau tadi BY sama dengan 1 times BY, dekat yang ori original atas ni, dia ada delta BB. So, sini delta BB sama dengan, sama dengan BY ni maintain. Ini adalah FBB times BY. FBB times BY. Okay, compare dua diagram ni. Okay, dalam ni BY, sini BY, sini BY, eh. BY, sini BY. Sini satu kali BY. BY, BY, satu kali BY. Okay, clear yang tu. Tengok lagi diagram asal. Okay, di sini delta BB, delta BB, so sini delta BB, BY maintain dekat sini, apa yang berubah? Dekat sini satu, satu kat atas ni kan, dekat sini FBB, so sini FBB. Okay, so FBB times BY, FBB tu maknanya deflection at point B, due to a unit value of redundant BY applied. Ada Ayat tu ada dalam, dalam ni. Yang saya sebut ada dalam ni. Okay, baca balik. So, sebenarnya when we want to analyze a beam or frame or truss using, okay, a, a flexibility method, dia uh, finally kita draw, kita lukis macam ni. Okay, kita akan buang, kita akan uh, buang yang ni lah. So, every time, every time, Apa kita buat? Okay, we have one beam here. One beam. Sini 100. Okay, sini roller. Macam ni. So, this, okay. Uh, choose dulu redundant kita BY. Means that kita nak remove BY. Okay, so yang ni, yang ni uh, is equal to remove BY jadi cantilever. Point load remain. Okay, point load remain. Okay, point load remain sini akan deflect. So, this is delta B naught. Yang ni delta B is equal to zero. Okay, so yang ni plus dengan. Okay, kita terus change the redundant BY applied. Tak letak dah BY tu. Letak a unit value of BY. A unit value of BY. So, yang ni deflect. 
Okay, this is F due to a unit value. This is FBB times BY. Maksudnya dalam dalam redundant structure ni, semua value dalam tu kena kali dengan BY. Okay, semua value dalam ni kena kali dengan BY. So, kalau kita tengok this, the compatibility equation, the compatibility equation, when delta B is equal to zero, we write like this. Okay, sebab kita nak samakan dengan zero, so kita tulis start from primary structure. So, it is delta B naught plus FBB times BY is equal to zero. Dalam ni baru ada kita punya aim, kita punya goal. Okay, because that, ini apa? This is delta at uh, delta at B in primary beam. Yang ni apa? Yang ni also delta at B in redundant beam. Okay, dua-dua ni boleh cari. Now boleh cari. Dua-dua akan, akan provide kita value. Okay, akan provide kita value. Dua-dua adalah displacement datang daripada dua sistem. Redundant, a primary first, primary system and redundant system. So, kalau sini value, sini value, dapat tak kita cari nilai BY? Dapat tak kita cari nilai BY? Dapat. Dapat. Okay. So, that's the concept. And lepas ni nak buat, kita dah tak, tak derive dah. Cuma cuma kita nak faham the concept. Faham the concept. So, lepas ni, for example, dia macam ni. Simpul macam ni. Nanti you tengok video-video yang saya dah letak link dekat Telegram, uh, dekat my YouTube channel tu. Dia tak kisahlah loading macam mana pun. Okay, for example, you have this. Uh, ini very fast eh. Okay, very fast. Okay, macam ni. This is 50 kilo newton per meter. This is 100 kilo newton. This is A, B, C, D. Okay, choose redundant. Redundant kita uh, DY in this case DY. Okay, redundant kita DY. So, bila redundant kita DY, means that kita akan yang ni macam automatik berubah ikut redundant. Tadi BY, dia jadi B not BB. Now dy dia akan jadi dia jadi apa? Kalau kalau b not tadi kalau yang tadi uh, b not fbb kali by bila redundant dia b b by kalau now redundant b dia jadi apa? Jadi apa? Delta d kat sini d d not plus fdd times dy is equal to zero. So, berubah ikut redundant tu. Ikut label tu akan sentiasa berubah. Okay. So, so yang bawah ni lah. Bawah tu. Okay. Sebab back, back kepada dy. Means that this equation tak payah derive dah. Choose redundant then dapat equation. So, dalam this equation ada two displacement. Dalam this, uh, this equation compatibility equation ada two displacement. Okay. Displacement ni displacement, this is also displacement. Okay, ada dua displacement. These two displacement come from two system. Okay, come we come from two system, primary beam and redundant beam. Redundant dia dy applied. Primary beam. Primary beam kita just remove roller D. So, yang lain remain. Redundant dy applied. Sub. Kosong. A unit value only. Okay. So, ini A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Okay. These are the two uh, the two determinate beam. One is primary beam. One is redundant beam. Yang kita kena analyze. Yang akan bagi kita delta D naught dan FDD. So, lepas you dah analyze reaction kat sini. Analyze, uh, write Mormon equation for both. Lepas tu, uh, calculate displacement. Calculate displacement, substitute displacement tu dalam compatibility equation. Okay. So, yang ni apa dia? Dua-dua displacement. Ikut formula displacement. Delta D not equal to 1 over EI integrate 
Dua moment equation MD and M0 DX 0 to L. Ini dah pernah buat dalam unit load method. Okay. Ikut saja. That's why saya, tadi saya kata you got, you bila was you dah faham you hanya ikut flow. Dia akan ikut flow. Without needed to remembering everything. Sebab dia dah ikut flow. Okay. Lepas tu kat sini. Kat sini F. Ah, sini lah. Yang ni kan FDD. FDD apa dia? 1 over EI integrate 0 to L. Ada dua moment equation. Nak kira displacement mesti integrate to moment equation. Kira displacement mesti integrate to moment equation. Apa dia moment equation tu? MD dengan MD. Dua MD. MD square DX. So this are the formula. Okay. So MD M0 ni kat dalam ni ada MD M0. Of course nanti D tu D ke E ke B ke C ke akan jadi satu general symbol. Tak sempat nak cover dah ni. Tiga minit lagi. Okay. MD M0 MD ni. Uh, dalam ni ada dua. MD M0. And always remember primary always M0. Primary system always M0. Redundant system ikutlah apa label tu. Kalau dia B, B lah. Kalau dia C, C lah. Kalau dia D, D, D lah. Kalau dia 1, 1 lah. Okay. So, dalam formula ni ada dua moment equation which is come from two system. M0 adalah primary system dan satu lagi adalah redundant system. Okay, regardless label apa yang kita pakai. Okay, the redundant akan berubah-ubah lah. Sometimes MA, sometimes MB, sometimes MC, sometimes MD. And generally, we use M1 for redundant. Okay, so dapat moment equation. Moment equation dapat dari reaction. Once you dapat moment equation, substitute dalam ni dapat displacement. Once you dah dapat this, this two displacement, substitute dalam Redak dalam 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 compatibility equation. This is compatibility equation. So that is why you jumpa dalam dalam notes nanti dalam nota buku tu solving compatibility equation give the redundant. Okay, solving compatibility equation give the redundant value. So kita akan dapat dy. So set the problem. The problem is dy. The problem is redundant. So once we get redundant we can solve remaining three. So masalah kita adalah sebab redundant. Soft redundant. So soft redundant tu panjang. Okay, soft redundant tu panjang. Lepas dapat redundant, settle lah. Okay, so please tengok video yang tadi saya sebut tu. Video tu ada, actually, there are so many video. Saya tunjuk kejap. Okay, yang mana yang rasa-rasa uh, macam nak pergi kelas tu bolehlah uh, kejap nak. We will start leaving now. Tapi yang mana boleh stay. Uh, saya nak tunjuk sekejap kat sini. Uh, link yang saya dah bagi dekat tu. Okay. Uh, so semua ni. Ada few semester punya. Uh, ada yang dalam lecture dalam kelas. Ada yang saya buat extra sessions. Ada yang saya buat live streaming. So Dah beratus video ada dalam ni. Dalam yang YouTube channel. So pilih je lah topik mana yang you nak tengok. So I hope after this session. Before we meet again next week. You dah try buat. In full solution. And of course as I mentioned. Formative assessment saya akan bagi satu. So saya akan bagi satu lah this week. And you have to upload in in the one note. Okay. So semua ni. So pilih mana-mana yang you nak tengok. Okay. So that's all for today's session. Thank you very much. Uh, InsyaAllah we will meet again next Thursday. Okay, so nanti saya akan bagi uh, announcement about about um, that hospital and so on dalam WhatsApp and dalam Teams juga. Okay, so thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Make sure you, you buat lah. Try buat ya, eh. try buat. Baik. Hey.